what's up Sailor Senji? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. And today I have the second part of my Artist Alley. If you missed my first episode of Artist Alley, then definitely check it out because I shared a whole bunch of really, really awesome merchandise that you can get. But basically Artist Alley is my version of what you would usually find whenever you go to anime conventions. If you've never been to an anime convention, there's usually a very large ballroom where you can check out a bunch of different vendors who are selling licensed goods. And then you can check out a like a fandom section, which is called Artist Alley. That's where you can find all sorts of creators who are making their own crafts based on the fandoms that we all love. So whenever given the chance, I really like to support these creators and their small businesses, especially when they're creating something. I create videos every single week and you guys support me. So this is my way of paying it forward and being able to support small businesses as well. If there are any artists or creators that you want to see me feature on this channel, definitely let me know by either telling me about them in the comments or tagging me on their Instagrams, whatever works for you. I'm Sailor Snubs on Instagram, where you can also find me tagging these creators as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Most of these items I had purchased myself. However, there are a few items that were sent to me for review on this channel. I will point those out per FTC guidelines. Let's go ahead and start with these pins from Moon Mama Designs. Wow, Moon Mama Designs. These look amazing. They are so pretty. So Moon Mama Designs first sent me out this one, which I featured on my channel. And then she also sent out these two to go along with the same series. So I'll start with Eternal Sailor Moon here. This is a beautiful pin that Moon Mama Designs created. On the back, it does say Moon Mama Design limited edition to 50. And on the front, there was something specific that I really wanted to point out. The screen printing on this pin is so precise and so gorgeous. A lot of times with pins, you don't see any kind of shadow detail. And on her pins, she included that. There's even shadows in Eternal Sailor Moon's wings. She has some shadowing work done in her hair to give her hair more of a depth. These stars in the background are even screen printed and her eyes are very detailed. She did an excellent job creating these pins. I love them. We have the same thing with Sailor Cosmos. This is absolutely gorgeous. And again, you see that depth of detail with her eyes and the shadowing happening in her hair and in her fuku. And then we have this really badass pin of Sailor Galaxia. Galaxia looks so cool. I love the color work done on this one as well. You can find Moon Mama Designs over on Instagram. So I will tag her down below and I will also be featuring these pins on my Instagram page. Thank you so much for sending those over to me, Moon Mama. I love them, they're so pretty. This pin is another enamel pin. This is also by Nerdy Girl Pins. If you watched my first Artist Alley, you would have seen Nerdy Girl Pins featured in that one as well. This was sent to me by Nerdy Girl Pins and this is a part of their Guardian Goddesses collection. So here we have a beautiful Guardian Goddess. Sailor Moon, of course, with a glitter background. I love the glitter and a little rose in the background. And she has this gorgeous crown on top. I love it, it is so pretty. I will put Nerdy Girl Pins link down below so that you can find them on Instagram. The next collection that I will show here, you've actually seen on my channel before because I have featured their designs and their work on the channel before. So these pins are by a designer named Disney Rye, but I already have Mercury, Jupiter, and Mars. So I wanted to finish off the inner Sailor Senshi with Venus and Moon. And then I already have the Sailor Moon transformation. So I wanted to get the Chibi Moon transformation as well. So this is a really nice big pin. And this one features Chibi Moon transforming into her Sailor Senshi version. There's a teeny tiny little Chibi Moon printed right there on the back. With Sailor Venus, we have some beautiful screen printing of her face. And we also have her wearing her belt, which I thought was really cool. This one says Sailor Venus on the back with a little stamp. And then we have Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon also has beautiful screen printing done in her facial features. Even her brooch has some detail in it. And I thought that was a nice little extra. 
And then on the back, we have a Sailor Moon stamp. These stickers are by a creator named Smurfy Art, and I thought they were awesome, so I had to buy them. I got two of the Sailor Cosmos vinyl stickers. These are really pretty. I love the holographic background happening with these. I also got this really cute one of the little star locket and Smurfy Art also made this cool one of Sailor Moon holding her wand. Isn't that cool? This one also has that holographic print to it. So that's all I purchased from Smurfy Art. However, I am hoping to check out some of their pins in the future. We shall see if I'm able to grab those. Next, I wanted to feature these vinyl stickers that I purchased from Shishido Creative on Instagram. I thought these were really pretty because of the print design. Even though it's a Luna head, obviously, we also have this awesome paradise background to them. I thought they were really pretty. And I also like all the packaging that came with them. So I also got this sticker from Shishido Creative, very cute. And then a couple of postcards. So this postcard has a small note written on the back. And then this postcard is very pretty in itself. I thought it was really pretty. Isn't that cute? So that is Shishido Creative. This is Enchanted Dan's enamel pin. This one I found on Etsy. It was a really easy find. I was just searching for enamel Sailor Moon pins on Etsy. I'll link him down below. I really like this one. I just thought it was really cool. It looks really blingy and it features Eternal Sailor Moon, which we don't have a lot of merchandise of. So I, of course, had to grab this pin from Enchanted Den. Very cute. I'm gonna show you these in the background because they're just adorable. Like the design is so neat. These are a pair of little vinyl stickers of Artemis and Luna but they have this really cool design within the silhouettes of the two cats. And there's also a pair of pins to match it. So these are from Jillis, Jill's, Gill's Pin Club. I'm not really sure how to say that, but this is from a pin club. I was actually able to find these online to purchase. I was not a part of the pin club, but I was able to find them. So these are the two pins that go along with postcards and the stickers. I just thought they were cute. I like them a lot. I like the design. I like how bright they are. So they will definitely go good in my collection. Now check out these pins. These are from Amanda Nelson Design Co. on Etsy. They are also on Instagram. I got four different pins from Amanda Nelson Design Co. I um, purchased these off of Etsy, so really easy to find. And I just love the designs. I thought they were really creative, very different, unique. I really like the one of Sailor Moon's Fuku. This one of Pegasus with the crystal Kirillin. And then obviously that one's not Sailor Moon, but I thought it was so cute. I love this dragon. And then we have this beautiful Fuku bow and it looks like there's a bunch of ribbons around it. I just thought that was really pretty as well. So cool. All very beautiful pins, well made. Really love these. Can you tell I'm a pin collector? I'm a pin collector. I love pins. Enamel pins are great. They're fun. This item, I just got it in the mail and I wanted to show you this because it's cool. It's very cool. This is a mouse pad. It's a little large, so I will show you the mouse pad in front of my main camera. But here we have this beautiful mouse pad featuring Sailor Moon and Usagi prints all over it. This was made by an artist over in Europe, but the shipping did not take long at all. They shipped it rather quickly. And I believe this is still in stock over on her store. I'll show you a close up of the art so you can see exactly what it looks like. This is really pretty. So we have all sorts of designs going on on this mouse pad and I love the detail done in here. Look at her fist when she's holding the Kaleida moon scope there. And look at all the shadow work done like in her hair and everything. It's just very, very well done. She even has like some beautiful fingernails done here. Her eyes are beautiful. So the entire design is just really well done. So I, I love this mouse pad. I thought it was great. I was like, I have to have this. I have to have nerdy mouse pads. So these are made by Marta, who also does a ton of jewelry. I've never purchased any of their jewelry but I'm interested, I want to check it out. That was the mouse pad and these are their Instagram as well as their Facebook page in case you wanna go check out their work. I'll also put those links down below. I am so excited to show this off. This is so cute. But this is made by my friend Sarah who creates a whole bunch of beautiful nerdy bows. This bow is based off of Serenity. So I asked for something blue and silver to really 
play off of that. And then we have the crown in the middle, which I thought was absolutely gorgeous. On the back, I have a clasp that's easy to put in my hair. However, she does give you different options for clasps whenever you purchase one from her, but this is mine. I feel like it doesn't necessarily match my hair now that my hair is purple, so I kind of want to get other ones too, so that I have different ones for the different kinds of color hair that I have, but I absolutely love her work. She puts so much love into her bows, and you can really tell because they're, they're really good quality, and she uses uses so many ribbons to really make them large and textured and each and every single one is different. So you can totally get like a unique bow from her. If you're interested in grabbing one of Adorka bows, I will definitely link them down below. She also did this really fun line of pins. So I wanted to show off these four pins that I purchased from Adorka Bows. I think this one was a bonus, but I ended up getting three of the pins from the series. I have Sailor Cosmos, and then I have, I think this one was based off of Moon, and then I have this Luna one. I really wanna grab some more of these bows. I love them. I think they are well worth the price, and you can tell that Sarah puts in a lot of hard work to create these because they they last a long time. I've had this one for months and months and I've worn it several times and it's in perfect shape. So I'm definitely happy about it. I think it's so cute. All right, I have two items left that I wanted to show you. This first one is by Arisa Chibara. These are magical tarot cards based on Sailor Moon. This was a Kickstarter campaign and unlike the licensed tarot deck that came out a few years ago, several years ago at this point, this is a full deck. The ones that were licensed were just the major arcana. I don't believe they were the minor arcana as well. This one is an entire deck. I believe that means it's 78 cards, but I'll flip through these really quick so you can see all the different designs. I thought they were absolutely gorgeous and definitely well worth the price. Arisa Chibara did such a great job on these. They also had two different foil options that you could get, and I went with this rose gold color. Honestly, they're almost so pretty that I don't really want to use them because I don't want to screw up the foil. I don't want to scratch the art. I just think they're so beautiful. And last but definitely not least is another Etsy purchase that I made, and this is a deck of magic cards. Do you play Magic the Gathering? Because I got really into it in the last year because of the state of the world and stuff, and I had nothing better to do, so I learned how to play Magic the Gathering, and it is so much fun. So this is a series of Magic the Gathering cards that you can get off of Etsy. There is a Etsy designer, a creator, who makes a whole ton of different kinds of decks. This is just the Sailor Moon deck. So this entire deck is based off of an actual Magic the Gathering deck. And in fact, you can see which of the different creatures it is based off of down at the bottom. So for example, the Sailor Moon card, you can see like what type of card it is, what the health is for this card, and then you also see what type of card it was based off of. So this one was Rudimental Tide Hollow Scholar Zombie. Here's another one. This is a Rudimental Terror, totally makes sense. Cloud Goat Ranger Giant Warrior. These are so cool. Burnton Forge Tender Kithkin Wizard. Oh, and then we have land cards. So there's even basic land cards in here. I think these are based off of like a white deck. And there's also land cards that do something. We also have creatures. So if you wanna use these as a playable deck, you can use these creatures. Like this one has flying. <laughs> I think a lot of these have flying. Oh yeah, bunch of creature cats. <laughs> So great. So if you are interested in these cards, which are definitely playable, however, you would have to build them around your own deck, then I will link to these down below. You will also notice that each of them does have an action. So there's an actual action that you can play whenever you are using these in a actual game. Ooh, look at that planeswalker. That's so cool. Amazing. I love these so much. Planeswalker Light of Hope. Oh, it makes sense totally makes sense. Okay, so that is it for Artist Alley. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see a specific creator, definitely let me know about them down below. Tag them on Instagram so that I know who you want me to check out on this channel in feature. I love being able to support other creators through my platform, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely like, share, subscribe, all the YouTube things. And until next time, I'm Sailor Snubs. I'll see you later. Ciao!